If you have ever sat in front of a terminal and typed something like sudo app install something, and the screen started showing red error messages like you just hacked into the Pentagon, congratulations. You are officially using Linux, and if you are like most people, you are probably wondering why everyone online makes it sound so easy, like you are just supposed to magically understand what a package manager is, why your permissions are suddenly broken, and why the whole file system feels completely upside down. This is the moment where most beginners either double down and push through it, or they give up and reinstall Windows. But what if I told you that struggling with Linux in the beginning is not just common, it is actually part of the learning process? You see, Linux is not built to be intuitive in the way modern operating systems are. It is not designed for convenience. It is designed for control, and that is a subtle but important difference. When you are new to it, it feels like you are constantly fighting the system. But once it clicks, you realize the system is doing exactly what you told it to do. You just did not speak the language yet. And the real language? It is not Bash. It is not Vim. It is your mindset. Most of us approach Linux expecting it to behave like the operating system we grew up with. We expect double-clicking, visual interfaces, helpful setup wizards, and friendly pop-ups that say things like, would you like me to update this for you? But Linux does not do that. It hands you the keys, gives you full control of the machine, and simply says, good luck. You ask, why does this command not work? You copy a line from a website, paste it into your terminal, and the system responds with, and command not found. No one told you that the command apt only works on Debian-based systems or that most tutorials online are written for Ubuntu, because that is what many people use. It is like moving to a new country and realizing there are five different ways to say hello, and four of them might get you punched. So let us break down why Linux feels hard at first, and why that feeling does not last forever. First, the file system. If you come from Windows, you are used to something like the C drive, then backslash, then program files. That feels normal, but in Linux, you get a tree structure. There is slash etc, slash user, slash var, and so on and you are just supposed to know what goes where. Here is the truth. Most Linux users had no idea either when they started. They learned by exploring, breaking things, and reading. Slash etc. is for configuration files. Slash user, then slash bin, is where programs live. Slash var is where the system writes changing data like logs and mail. Once you learn that this layout is consistent across most versions of Linux, it starts to make sense. Next, permissions. Ah uh, yes, the famous message, permission denied. You try to edit a file, and Linux says, nope, that is because the root account is sacred. You cannot casually change system files. You need to ask politely using sudo, and even then, you are expected to know what you are doing. But here is the thing. That setup is intentional. It teaches discipline. You learn that not every file should be edited, not every folder should be writable. That friction you feel when the system tells you no, it is there for a reason. It makes you pause. It makes you think. Then we have package managers. Every Linux version or distribution uses a different one. There is apt, there is yum, there is pacman, there is dnf. It can feel overwhelming at first, but the truth is most of the time you are just installing, removing, or updating programs. Once you get used to one of these systems, the rest start to feel familiar. It is not about memorizing every command. It is about understanding how things fit together. And here's the part nobody tells you. Once you get through that beginner wall, Linux stops feeling like a chore. It starts to feel like power. You stop looking up every command, you start editing config files to create exactly the setup you want. You start writing your own scripts, you stop relying on software that hides everything behind buttons, and begin building your own tools and workflows. You stop being just a user, you become a builder, a developer, a hacker, someone who truly understands and owns their machine. And no, it is not about being elite or highly technical, it is about freedom. Linux teaches you to look under the hood, to question the defaults, to take full responsibility for how your system works, and that mindset carries over into everything else. It helps you in coding, it helps in cybersecurity, it even changes how you approach learning as a whole. Now I know some of you are sitting there thinking this all sounds great, but what happens when I inevitably break something or get stuck on some cryptic error message? Because let's be honest, that's where most people quit. They hit that wall, spend three hours Googling, find 47 different solutions that don't work, and then go back to Windows. So I built something specifically for this problem. It's called the Linux Error Reference Guide. You literally paste any Linux error message into this interactive tool, and it gives you an explanation and the exact fix in under five seconds. No more endless forum browsing. No more trying random commands that break more stuff. Just instant, specific solutions. You can find this tool exclusively in our private Cyberflow Academy community, where we don't just teach you Linux, we teach you everything you need to know about ethical hacking and cybersecurity. But that's honestly just the beginning. See, finding vulnerabilities is only half the battle. What? The real money comes from knowing how to turn those skills into serious income. And that's exactly what we teach inside. Our members aren't just finding bugs, they're cashing out big. 
Just last month, one of our guys pulled $12,000 from a single critical he found using advanced techniques we teach in the academy. We're talking about people who invested a less than $30 and made it back 20x over in their first quarter. Because here's what nobody tells you, the technical skills are just the entry fee. The real money comes from knowing which programs pay fast, how to write reports that get maximum payouts, building relationships with security teams, and scaling your workflow so you're not trading time for money anymore. We teach you the business side that everyone else ignores. And since you made it this far, I'm hooking you up with 50% off using code CYBER50, but this expires in 24 hours because I can't keep this price forever. First link in the description. So yes, Linux is hard at first. It is supposed to be. Because it is not handing you a fish, it is teaching you how to fish using a shell script, and maybe a little bit of duct tape, and once you stop expecting it to feel like Windows, and start treating it like the powerful and opinionated toolbox that it really is, everything changes.